Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here on this sacred land that the Shumash have honored for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. And thank you all of us who are joining us virtually as well. Here with our grieving tree, which this project was initiated by Hison Kim, who is one of our depth psychology doctoral students. And a couple of years ago, she had us gather around this tree, and our Shumash elder, Art Cisneros, was here with us. And for three days, people were able to come here on their own time, behind a screen, there were some cushions, and they were able to grieve privately. And at the end of that was a ceremony bringing us collectively together. And it was a very moving, profound time. And now we are coming to bring this to the virtual world so that we can expand internationally even to have this time together. It's been a very difficult year. Many, many people have lost their lives, particularly those in marginalized communities. And we come together here to honor the grieving process. Now there are strips of paper that are from an ancient mulberry tree and an elder in Korea. And these have the notes that you've provided on the website and that those of us here today and our friends have given us. And we will be hanging those on the tree for the duration of this week. And at the end of this week, we will have another ceremony to close. Now to ask permission and honor the tree, there have been meditations here at 6 a.m. every morning for um, 49 days so far, actually 50 days so far. He Sun Kim has been here every morning at 6 a.m. and inviting others to join her. I'm deeply moved to invite everyone into this sacred time together to honor this process of grieving and I'd like to share a brief note from our president of Pacifica, Dr. Joseph Cambray. He could not be here today, but this is what he said. We value this project as an empathic, loving way to give expression to our grief, individual and collective, associated with the pandemic. The tree with its interconnected roots symbolizes how we are all in this together and we are acknowledging that grief is a key step in not becoming entangled in a melancholic depression due to repressed grief. To express lamentation over our losses can open the transcendent function and allow the transpersonal to flow into our community. The tree, as symbol, carries this possibility, and may all who partake of this feel the strength of the blessing it conveys. So in our ceremony today, we give back to the tree and others with gratitude for the opportunity to lean into grieving with each other. We will have each person introduce themselves and share their ceremony offerings, poetry, songs, music, and reflections. And with that, I will first introduce you to Dr. Peter Ross Savage, and he is our provost, and then we'll come back and I'll introduce you to Hisan, who will start the ceremony. So I give you now Peter Ross Savage. Thank you, Juliet. It's a pleasure to be here today uh, as be part of this ritual. I'd like to offer uh, two thoughts about on statements by scholars who are not uh, at all unfamiliar to Pacifica Graduate Institute, and then end with a poem. So we're here today in terms of a ritual having to do with mourning and grief. And ritual according to Joseph Campbell, whose personal library is within hundreds of feet of where we stand today under this mulberry tree, said that the function of ritual is to give form to human life, 
not at the mere arrangements of the surface, but at its depth. And the form that we seek today as part of this ritual is community. How we can come together in a way that contains and also honors our grief. Community is about belonging. And every time we find a place that we belong, we are in community. And community has to do not only with membership, which is the opposite of being an outsider. It's also about ownership, meaning that when we are in community, we co-create a future that is sustaining to the human spirit. But community is also about our longing to be. Belonging means belonging to be. And that has to do with our individual and collective being. And at Pacifica, we understand being, which is always part of ritual, as living at a deeper purpose in everything that we do. C.G. Jung once said that initiation rituals, if done at the right time with the right spirit, tends to burn off all that has become irrelevant to our personal and collective lives, opening up our eyes to new possibilities about our own uniqueness. And so what I'd like to do now is to read a poem. And I would ask you to think about giving form how poetry, which is often a part of ritual, whether that poetry is recited or sung or, um, or read, gives form to the depths of human life. And to think about Jung's statement that ritual and poetry and the arts in general open up our eyes, burn off what is irrelevant, and open us to our own uniqueness. This is a poem by Wolf Bowden, who is a poet and a painter and a songwriter and a uh, musician living in the Puget Sound. It's called The Stone Age. Today, I am probably a rock, rolling down the asphalt road with a thousand other rocks, banging into the garbage cans of things I no longer want, ricocheting off the telephone poles with their wires full of words above, chipping my sharp edges on light posts, tumbling through this river of humans, grinding my rough spots off. Like a jawbreaker, whose layers get sweeter as the tongue swirls towards the core, I am tumbling in the ravenous mouth of the world. I will rub the mud down to agate, then scrape the mud and scrape the agate down to quartz, a little deeper in, and I'll glimmer like snowflake obsidian. Then the faline gold of tiger's eye, the purple pulse of amethyst. Another thousand days like this, I'll be diamond, flawless, spirit. Hisan is a very special being, and she is one of our doctoral students. It's just gotten a Fulbright scholarship too and we'll be taking this ritual to Jeju Island in South Korea as well and I cannot express in words my gratitude to what she has brought us here to Pacifica and um, I would like to introduce his son Kim and she will start us off in ritual thank you Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate all the participants watching virtually and being present here today. Thank you for your generous support and loving hearts. The Grieving Tree Project is about holding a safe space together 
with nature's generous nurturing and healing power. Due to the tragic nature of the pandemic, most families could not say goodbye to their loved ones fully. As a collective spirit, we invite you to this space for tending to your suffering and loss while sharing our hearts through collective mourning. It is truly an honor to offer this gathering under this mulberry tree on the sacred land of Chumash Native Americans here at Pacifica Graduate Institute in Santa Barbara. It is my great honor to introduce Art Cisnero, the Chumash Elders, and also Jose Munoz, the Mayan timekeeper, for the opening ritual and blessing. Haku, haku. I would like everyone here and around the world to get together to the source of all the energy that we carry. Our Mother the Earth has been waiting for us to come together this, this way. Together, truly, touching our Mother. We're all standing on this beautiful Earth, and she's here to help heal us. I offer today this prayer given to me by my elders, which is a sacred, ancient prayer in an ancient language. <clears throat> it is an invocation for everything that we are connected to. I will be inviting not only the energies of the universe in the celestial bodies, but also our ancestors, and ask you to invite your ancestors also to be witness, to be part of this ceremony in this moment. I will be inviting also all those that we are in relationship, that we are here to take care of in this world. The trees especially in this beautiful mulberry is honoring us by holding this ceremony, by bringing us together here. Thank you, Hisun, for this invitation. Ko kelly nur, nur ma ote, heno, heno, heno. No yakti, pakpawil, antiki, jingin each sump, oit moi tawish no di pakpawil, tobet. No di pakpawil, alapa, akiwa, ana e alish, no di pakpawil, kote cup cup. No di pakpawil, mupu, ictilimu, alawa mahalawa. No di pakpawil, nerd, ow, oh, kote. No di pakpawil, ahiwa, no di pakpawil, a quit. ยกตีปะกวิลยกตองยกตีปะกวิลฮะสุสยกตีปะกวิลคนเดอร์ยกตีปะกวิลคนเดอร์ยกตีปะกวิลอายูวีซียกตีปะกวิลคูโอโค
grieve together. As we make it through to the cycle of emotions, we can smile together again. But until we get to those smiles and we heal together by grieving together, I have come here from a long, long distance to bring this message of balance, unity, joy, peace, and intergalactic harmony. So in deep appreciation of that, there is this prayer from the Mayev people, the Choti people where I come from, to grieve together and speed up the process to the next now, the next eternal moment of happiness. So following the steps of my mother and father and 22 generations before them, I have come here to say Matyosh. Thank you. Matyosh Noch, Matyosh Chikin. Matyosh Akabal, Matyosh Toch, Matyosh Imosh. Hun Toch, Kiev Toch, Oshiv Toch, Kihab Toch, Hov Toch. We keep toch, we keep toch, wakshe keep toch. Bele hef toch, hun la hook toch, hun la hook toch, kav la hook toch, osh la hook toch. Opening ourselves to realize that we are here in this planet to assist each other and love each other without conditions. Huni mosh, kevi mosh, oshibi mosh, kihavi mosh, havi mosh, wikibi mosh, wikubi mosh, kablo huhi mosh, bela hevi mosh, hula huhi mosh, Realizing again that we're here to celebrate each other and remember each other as who we are. Intergalactic time travelers, eternal spirits having a human experience. Hun toch, kip toch. Oshib toch, kihab toch, hov toch, wikib toch, wikub toch. Kash lehib toch, belehev toch, hula huk toch, hung la huk toch, kab la huk toch. And as we move through this period of each instability together, going through the halls of Amenti together, rebirthing together, we send our love to the spirits who have left this world at this time in an unprecedented, accelerated manner into all our elders and all the wisdom that went with them in this period. We remember their wisdom today and we have served their wisdom today. Hunga Kabal, Keva Kabal, Oshiva Kabal, Kihava Kabal, Hava Kabal, Wikiva Kabal, Wukuva Kabal, 
Wachshakiv Akaba, Belechev Akaba, Hulahuk Akaba, Hunlahuk Akaba, Kavlahuk Akaba, Washlahuk Akaba. And now we remember that we are one with the multiverse and unilateral universes where shades of our minds, our spirits, and echoes of our eternal sounds through space and time reside. And we remember that we fly together as good as we grieve together. And always from my heart to your hearts, this is a prayer for happiness and a prayer for health mental, physical, and spiritual health. Hun chikin. Kef chikin. O shiv chikin, ki haf chikin. Hof chikin, wu kuf chikin, wu kif chikin. Wak shikiv chikin. Bele hev chikin. Osh la huk chikin. Hula hook chicken, cabla hook chicken, hungla hook chicken. Matios, that Matios, none. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Ginger Swanson. I am so fortunate to be a part of this Pacifica community, first as a student and now as a teacher. And I am honored to be a part of this ceremony here and now. Thank you so much, Heeson. Thank you for all that you bring and do for all of us. It's just so heartfelt. Thank you. And it's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to this beautiful woman, soul sister, divine spirit, whose main mission in life is to bring love through the world, through voice. Love to the world through voice. Lois Mahalia. I will be the answer at the end of the line I will be there for you Why you take the time In the burden of uncertainty I will be your solid ground I will hold the balance if you can't look down mm, If it takes my whole life I won't break, I won't bend It'll all be worth it Worth it in the end Cause I can only tell you what I know Is that I need you in my life When the stars have all burned out You'll still be burning so bright Cast me gently into morning for the night has been unkind take me to a place so holy that i can wash this from my mind memory of choosing not to fight mm, If it takes my whole life 
I won't break, I won't bend. It'll all be worth it, worth it in the end. Cause I can only tell you what I know is that I need you in my life. When the stars of all burned out, you'll still be burning so bright cast me gently into morning for the night has been Thank you, Lois Mahalia. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Mary Watkins, co-chair of the Community Liberation Indigenous in Eco-Psychology's doctoral specialization at Pacifica. During this pandemic, we give thanks for each and every large and small gesture of love and support offered between loved ones and between strangers. The nurse who holds the hand of someone dying, the neighbor who helps to distribute food at the food bank, the young friend who checks in on an elderly person living nearby, Hesun who creates this beautiful and needed ritual for us. The millions upon millions of acts of mutual aid are weaving a delicate and beautiful tapestry of support and care. But sadly, in addition to gathering our grief for the loss of loved ones, we also must together gather our grief for the unnecessary losses of born of greed, neglect, selfishness, and racism. We grieve that due to economic and racial injustice, many have had to daily confront the murderous strength of the virus at close range, while others have enjoyed relative safety from harm. We grieve that even the threat of a worldwide pandemic has not been able to adequately mobilize us to release the grip of greed, the hunger for excess profit by pharmaceutical corporations and others, to free vaccines to belong to the people of the world so that we might find protection together rather than over and against one another. We grieve that so many are suffering from the loss of their work, their livelihoods and their homes, and grieve that so many children are being put to bed hungry and too often suffering at the same time the loss of a parent who loves and protects them. May the tapestry weave of care and support that's being created by this pandemic be knit into the patterns of our common fabric. May we acknowledge our grief, remorse, and shame at our collective failures to share and extend care, protection, and support to so many. And may this acknowledgement be a step toward our reparative actions now and in the future. Uh, my name is Evergreen Herricks. I'm the PA for the Depth Psychology program that we're so proud to have he's son part of. Uh, I'm going to read a poem. The poet is Marie Howe. And um, Mary, I think this, I don't know, your words made me want to read this one. It's, um, thank you. Um, it's about when we weren't separate. Uh, it's called Singularity. <clears throat> Do you sometimes want to wake up to the singularity we once were? So compact. Nobody needed a bed or food or money. Nobody hiding in the school bathroom or home alone, pulling open the drawer where the pills are kept. For every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. Remember? There was no nature, no them, 
No test to determine if the elephant grieves her calf or if the coral reef feels pain. Trashed oceans don't speak English or Farsi or French. Would that we could wake up to what we were when we were ocean and before that to when sky was earth and animal was energy and rock was liquid and stars were space and space was not at all nothing. Before we came to believe humans were so important. Before this awful loneliness. Can molecules recall it? What once was? Before anything happened? No I, no we, no one, no was, no verb, no noun. Only a tiny, tiny dot brimming with is, 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 is. All, everything, home. Thank you, Evergreen. That was beautiful. <clears throat> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Let's say the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind, but now I see. Was grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. How precious is that grace appear. The hour I first believed Through many dangers, toils and snares I have already come Oh, it's great that brought me safe thus far and grace will lead me home I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Lois. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Jose, Hison, Art, Juliet, Evergreen, Diane, Mary. Oh, Mary. Thank you all. And for all of the grieving past, present, and future, 
May we hold the grievers and the grieving in our hearts with love. Thank you again, Hison, for all of this beautiful work. Okay. Oh. Oh, one more song? A closing song? Can I just sing the chorus again for this one? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind. But now I see Through many dangers, toils and snares I have already come T'was grace that brought me save thus far and grace will lead me home I was was lost but now I found was blind but now I see Thank you, Lois. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it was so beautiful.